Hey everyone, Kai Draws here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today we got a art vlog coming out. I'm actually vlogging again, or I'm gonna try to. It's really hard for me to get in the mood to do these things because I never really know what to talk about. But today I decided to talk about something that a lot of you guys ask me, and it's like, oh, can you do this tutorial, or how do you get better at doing this? etc etc you know those kind of questions like how do I practice um, I don't really know what I'm doing which you know we all start out there we all don't really know what we're doing at some point or another which is okay we're all still learning um, personally I don't think I'm the best like the absolute best to explain how to better yourself as an artist because I myself have only been drawing for about a year but I figured that I'd come on here and give you guys some tips that helped me out in progressing as fast as I did and I hope it'll help you guys out too. So, um, the first thing to keep in mind when you're trying to progress in art and not just, you know, like doodle every day, because there's a difference between the two. When you want to progress in art, big thing is setting goals for yourself. Um, like for me right now, my goal is to get better at backgrounds and anatomy. So, those, that's what you gotta do. You gotta set goals and you slowly gotta step up to those goals. But how do you set up to those goals to get where you wanna go? Practice. That's honestly the only thing uh, that we all can really do, honestly, is practice, practice, practice. I personally love doing figure drawings, but I hate landscapes with all my heart. Like, if I could be rid of landscapes and throw it into the void, I would. But at the same time, I'd be really sad because there are some really good landscape paintings. I'm all over the place. This is unscripted. Yeet. Um. Alright. Yeah, so I really do hate landscapes. A lot. It's why you don't see backgrounds in many of my drawings. In fact, this is one of the first drawings I have done a landscape in, in, like, ever. And even then, it's not really a landscape, it's kind of just a sky with clouds behind it. And I stole the idea from another artist, hehe. <laughs> Which is okay, because you can steal ideas from other artists, because it's what every artist does, and it's... It's okay, I promise. I'm not a thief. But, going back into it, yeah, I hate landscapes, and that's what you gotta do is when you really hate something, when you really don't enjoy it, you need to force yourself to practice it. And a lot of people are gonna tell you, oh, don't do things you don't like, cause then you may never like drawing ever. But how can you expect to get better if you're not practicing the things that you hate and practicing the things that you suck at? That's what I don't get. You know, I don't get that argument where they're like, oh, if it makes you mad, don't do it, because then you're just going to get frustrated and never draw again. You gotta push through that barrier to get better. Ah. Um, another thing that, personally, I've seen a lot of problems with, and something that I've been judged for myself, is using um, references. It is perfectly okay to pull something out of real life or pull inspiration from another artist's piece and incorporate it into your own. Um, especially with the real life thing, because you can't necessarily copyright a pose. Or a tree. Or a blade of grass, you know? Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a fact. You can't copyright stuff that we see in our everyday life. So highly, highly recommend if you are struggling with, like, say, a hand pose or an expression in, excuse me, or an expression in one of your uh, pieces you're trying to create, use a reference. Look, just Google it, like, model sitting down crisscross applesauce, and they're going to bring up a bunch of references for you. Now, as for referencing from other artists, there is a huge difference between referencing, copying, and tracing. At least to me. 
which is why I'm completely 100% fine with people referencing my art for poses, as long as you're not copying or tracing. So what is acceptable? Taking your... you have your own character, right? You see an artist and they drew a really nice pose that you like, the anatomy looks really good, and you go, hey, I want to try that pose out. So you do, you reference that pose, maybe you take some drawing references from that artist or from online looking up the same idea of the pose. You took inspiration from someone. That's what we do in the art community. It's why we're constantly creating because we're inspired by others and the people around us. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Now if you're full on copying the image, outfit, pose and all, that's where you got a problem. Well, yeah, that's where you do have a problem. Post reference works if you copy something, because in my opinion, copying is a great form of practice, but you shouldn't post it and claim it as your own piece because it's something that somebody else created and you mimicked in an, att in an attempt to understand what they're doing. So there's the two differences there. Now tracing, you're learning nothing, you're not doing anything, just don't even bother with it, you're not going to become a better artist if you're tracing. That's just, it's a fact, you know? Like... If you copy someone else's homework, are you really learning from it? That's basically what tracing is. You're just copying it exactly. You're not freehanding it. You're not doing anything to put your own style into it. It's just stealing, and stealing is lame, and stealing gets you in a lot of trouble, and it gets you attacked by a lot of trolls, and no one, no one wants to deal with trolls on the internet because they're all little turds. Don't tell me I'm wrong because I know I'm right. And I had a third point. I forgot what it was. Hmm. What is my third point about this? You got your referencing. I can't even remember what my first point was. Wow, this is this is incredible. Uh, referencing, goal setting, and practicing. Yes. So there is a specific way to practice, or at least for me, there's a really, like, set-in-stone way that I like to practice my art. Um, one big thing is, like I said before, tackling things that I hate, but also every week I kind of have an itinerary of what I do, so I, I constantly sketch, I constantly draw digitally, and at the end of the week, I look back and see what I did while I was bored, and I you know, I, I self-criticize myself. And that's another thing that's really important to improving is self-criticism. If you can't criticize yourself, you can't take criticism from other people, and ultimately, you go nowhere. You need to be able to recognize your mistakes and fix those mistakes. So what I do is I go through all my drawings of the week, and I take a look at what looks off the most. As of right now, for me, um, female head shapes are really getting me. Especially now that I'm switching from anime into realism. Um, sometimes my head shapes look too cartoony or they look too masculine and I can't find a good medium in between so I'm trying to do more real life studies. And that's the kind of stuff that you need to recognize. Like if you're struggling with hands or feet. I know I heavily struggle with feet. It's why I never draw feet. Which kind of is hypocrisy compared to the points that I just made, but we're going to ignore that. Um, heck, I forgot my train of thought. Like I said, unscripted, please forgive me for this. Um, but I'm saying but a lot too. Excuse, excuse. Pra practicing. Yes, practicing this. This is where we are. Um, Looking back and self-criticizing yourself helps. Also, and I know some of you are not going to be happy with this, but accepting criticism from other people, no matter what art skill level they're at, if you feel that they're lower than you or if they're higher than you, it's just always good to have another um, piece of advice in because someone may see something in your art that you don't necessarily see offhand. Because I know, like, looking at this, I was like, oh my god! This is perfect! I'm so happy with it, because it's one of the best things that I've done since... ever. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot, but it is really, it really is one of the best pieces I've done, and I'm thanking that due to the new practice plan that I'm on. 
Yes. Um, so for me, I was like, yeah, this piece is perfect. It's so great. And then I went to my mom and I'm like, mom, look at this. What do you think? And she's like, the eye looks funky. And she's been telling me that with all my pieces and I've been ignoring it because I've been complimented on the way that I draw my eyes a lot. So I thought it was just like, you know, in my mom's head, but I kind of looked at it and I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe I could work on it, give it a little bit more depth below so that it actually looks like it's in an eye socket and not just like floating in space. Um... And you see, that's that's what you got to do. You got to be able to accept accept that advice from someone, whether it's your mom, your teacher. Heck, maybe even your dog might notice something. I don't know how smart your dog is. I know that Poe's pretty smart. She is my child. I'm 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 just running out of material here. I got three more minutes left in this thing. Um, maybe I'll talk about this piece a little bit. So hold on, let me, cause I keep on forgetting their name, um, let's see, du -du -du -du, looking through Twitter, ah, uh, where are you, come on, come on, don't do this, heck, I'm not smart, oh yeah, this is made for, um, Court Orion, is what? Ah, so, oh, God, Twitter's being a turd. Okay. Sorry, this was made for Court Otter on... Court Otter 1402 on Twitter. She had a really just beautiful OC design of a waterbender, and I love waterbenders with all my heart. I grew up with Avatar The Last Airbender, so when I saw this, I'm like, that is the drawing that I want to do this week. So, yeah, um... Huge thanks to her for letting me draw this character because it's just so perfect and she's she's so cute and I, she uh, sent me some other art pieces as an example and I gotta say like the art out there for this character is just extremely adorable. I love it um, and I, I, I really enjoyed drawing this character. So yeah, if y'all want to get something like this drawn. I'm kind of doing, it's kind of like a, a weekly raffle where I'm drawing one person's character every week and putting it in a, just slapping it in a speed paint. Um, you can submit your drawings to hashtag Kai Doodle Me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll go through, I'll take a look and I'll draw something for your character, whether it's a full painting like this, a chibi, just I'll, I'll make you art. But Remember, there's no guarantee that you're going to get that art. It really depends on how I'm feeling that week and if I want to draw that character. Um, but if you do want guaranteed art from me, then please commission me. Commissions are open right now. You can find all my commission info on all my websites. I just... I'd like money. <sighs> um, Alright, I got 30 seconds. Let's wrap this up here. Alright, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, maybe share it with your friends, something. But, I know that I had fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay artsy, everyone.